Today we pray for all the faithful departed, the holy souls. And we call them holy souls because they're on their way to heaven. Yesterday for the solemnity of all saints, we heard the reading from Revelation that surrounding the throne of the Lamb of God are those dressed in the white garments. And so to enter into heaven, we need to have a white garment. And when we think of our spiritual life, we can see on our garment, maybe there's a rip here, or maybe there's a mark over there. Maybe it's dusty because of the journey. So our white garment needs to be freshened up. It needs to be cleaned up before we can be with the saints. Or we strive to be perfected in the image of Jesus himself. And so in this life, with prayer and sacrifice, we seek to continue that process of renewal of our hearts and our minds, of conversion of heart, to die to an old self, to rise to new life. The opening prayer for this Mass mentioned that our dear beloved departed believe in the resurrection. And when we consider the resurrection on the last day, we shall all be raised up in our human body, transformed, transfigured, perfected, to be united with our soul forever in heaven. So we will be our complete person who God wanted us to be from all eternity. Purgatory is a way that individuals can be prepared and ready for the feast of heaven. In our own life, we see times when people need to step back and find healing. For example, if somebody falls down and hurts their leg, they need to step back and go for therapy. And that could take a long time. It could take a short time, depending. There might be some pain involved. There, there is inconvenience involved. But with the affirmations and the encouragement of the therapist, things can move along very beautifully. And so purgatory, our dear beloved departed, need our prayers so that they can continue the journey to heaven, that they can be purified from any attachments to sinfulness. So often before a holiday, people line up at car washes that their cars can be cleaned up on the outside. Nobody likes to drive a car for Easter that's all dirty. And sometimes it's, people will spend a lot of time cleaning their own car and polish it up and make it look beautiful. But that's the exterior. Purgatory is not just about looking good for God. The exterior, skin deep, no, but it has to do with our hearts. So purgatory is a way that people can turn their hearts to God completely and totally. And that's the first and greatest of all the commandments, to love God with all of our heart, all of our soul, all of our strength, all of our mind, so that our hearts are burning with love for God. Today, Jesus says, come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. So leaving this world, maybe someone is burdened with worldly attachments that take them away from God. We want to drop those burdens. We want to leave them at the door and be ready to enter the narrow gate to be with the saints, to be with the angels, to be with our loved ones who have gone before. 
And so our prayers help the holy souls, the dearly departed, to continue their journey to the heavenly Jerusalem. And Jesus himself, our good shepherd, leads the way. So in purgatory, yes, there can be the feelings of inconvenience and some painfulness because just like in therapy, there can be some of that. But there's joy because they know for sure that after this temporary pause before the gates of heaven, yes, we will be together in eternal life. Here, we have our book of remembrance for individuals to put names of family and friends. And we remember all the faithful departed. And we are assured that Jesus, our good shepherd, never forgets us. He always remembers us. And by his cross and resurrection, we benefit from the work of salvation that our sins may be forgiven and every vestige of sinfulness can be taken away. So let us joyfully pray for our loved ones. Let us pray that soon their hearts will be on fire with love for God and be ready for paradise and reward. <laughs>